To start a study with the Fuji system, we're first going to enter the patient demographics. On the main screen, the registration window, we want to first enter our patient ID, which is a unique ID for just that patient or that pet, not the client name or number, but just the patient. And that number is usually generated by the EMR or practice management software. Under patient name, we're going to put the owner last name, space, and then the pet name or patient name. Accession number is generally left blank unless we want another unique identifier, either an OFA number or microchip number, to identify that image. Sex is the male or female sex of the patient. Date of birth, just like the example shows, the MM period DD period four Ys. Requesting department, whichever doctor ordered the exam. And technologist, whichever technician is taking the exam. So for example, Patient ID, again, a unique number from the practice management software for that patient. Patient name would be the owner last name. Space, and then the pet name. Sex would be the male or female. Date of birth, again, just like the example. MM, period, DD, period. Four Ys. Request in department, whichever doctor ordered the exam. And technician, whichever tech is taking the exam. Once all that information is in the system, we hit next. On our second screen, we're going to tell the system which views we're going to be taking. So for example, if we're doing a two-view chest on a cat, we would hit thorax and add the VD and lateral view for our cat. If we also wanted to add a lower extremity, we can hit hind limb and add a stifle view for the cat. If we added the stifle view an error, we could highlight that menu, send it to trash can, and delete that study. Once we have all of our menus on the screen, we're ready to hit start study and move on to taking x-rays and inserting cassettes.